the French runner who was branded the biggest D-head of the Olympics after knocking over water bottles during the marathon has denied doing it on purpose. Murad M. Downey, who was slammed after cameras caught him knocking down a line of drinks before grabbing the last one, blamed slippery bottles for the incident. The 33-year-old insisted that it is clear I am trying to get one from the beginning of the row but was unable to grab hold because the bottles are soaked in water. Am Downey, who ultimately finished 14th in a race which saw 31 competitors drop out in scorching heat, also hit out at what he called sterile polemics blaming him. Posting on his Facebook page, Am Downey uploaded a video which shows a zoomed-in segment of his hand trying to grab the bottles which he says proves his innocence. Alongside the footage, he wrote, to put an end to all the sterile polemics in the video, I put this video to actually understand what happened. To guarantee freshness to the bottles, these are soaked in water which makes them slippery. It is clear that I am trying to get one from the beginning of the row but these slide when we barely touch them. The incident occurred during the 26 miles race in Sapporo during the closing stages of the Tokyo Games. Cameras trained on the leading group of runners captured them approaching a water station, with four runners managing to grab bottles from a table set up alongside the track without an issue before and down the approaches. Am Downey then runs along the table with his outstretched hand, knocking all the bottles over before grabbing the very last one. Behind him, another runner can be seen with an open palm waiting to grab a bottle, but by the time Am Downey is done, there are none left to grab. Footage of the incident went viral after being posted on Twitter, with Piers Morgan branding the runner the biggest D-head of the Olympics. But other users claimed that Am Downey had knocked the bottles over by accident, also pointing out that there was another table of water bottles just ahead where the runners behind the Frenchman could still grab a refreshment to stay hydrated. Kenyon Kipchoge finished first with a commanding performance, winning his second straight gold medal and cementing his place among the all-time greats of the sport. Abdi Nagai of the Netherlands took silver and Belgium's Bashir Abdi won bronze. Kipchoge, 36, joins Ethiopia's Abebe Bakila, 1960 and 1964, and East Germany's Waldemar Kirpinski, 1976 and 1980, as the only runners to win back-to-back -back gold medals on the Olympic stage.